Hi everyone, and this is the Legendary Eye back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Beyblade Axe unboxing. And um, this video is actually sponsored by Model Toys. I just wanted to kind of put that out there first because um, because this whole this whole video is actually really interesting. So Model Toys wanted me to actually review this Beyblade, and I decided to basically make this a um. I'll also kind of make this like a little bit of an information guide for um, for duplicates because no matter what I get from this is actually a duplicate. As you can see right here, this is all the full set of Random Booster Volume um, 4. So I have the full set and um, in terms of the unboxing, I don't know when I'll be able to get that out because I am really behind and also kind of all over the place in terms of the videos, as you may have noticed. So, so you get some videos from you get some videos from like March or, or April, then you all of a sudden get videos from now. So, yeah, it's to kind of get creative with how I put everything in for the videos themselves. Also, because this video is sponsored by Model Toys, I want to say thank you, Model Toys, for sponsoring me and. If you don't know what Model Toys is, it's a place where you can get Beyblades. They don't just have Beyblades. They also have Japanese card games like Pokemon. And I think at one point in time they had some other card games too. They also have Tomika a little bit and then a little bit of Bottle Man. They just have a whole bunch of stuff that you might be interested in. So is that you can actually get the newest Beyblades from them. So if you want to pre-order the new Beyblades like Whale Wave and El Drago, you could get those from Model Toys, and they'll actually have free shipping. I do believe it's based. I, I, I do believe that the free shipping is only in the U.S. though, so keep that in mind. So go to the link in the description, or use code the Legendary R for five percent off. And now let's get into the video. Yeah, thank you, Model Toys, for sponsoring me and actually giving me this Beyblade. I do want to go over the importance of, du of duplicates, and as you can tell right now. See, I didn't open it. There's, it wasn't open, or if it is open, then I don't know about it. And I'm hoping for Black Shell, but apparently I was talking to some other Baytubers or former Baytubers, either one. And um, and it seems like Unicorn Sting, I think Unicorn Sting is one of the more common ones alongside Viper Tail and I think one other one. But yeah, I apparently saw them are more common than others. But we'll, we'll just get into the unboxing and then we'll go from there. Okay, so. This is completely random and... Um, I, I think for the sake of this video, I will try not to... I think for the sake of the video, I'll try not to spoil myself. Because if I spoil myself, then... Um, if I spoil myself, then I'll actually end up making this harder for harder for me to actually be surprised. Because I, I want to do this with you. Just like how I did with the other unboxings in the past. Where it was just one random, one random Beyblade from the set. This is the blade, so I'll, I'll open the blade first. This is the blade, so I'm opening up the blade first, so that way... So that way I know for sure what it is. It, they really made sure to, to tape up the blades. That's that's something that I know. So the random boosters, like they all have tape on them, but I think the I think the blades are probably the the most taped up part of the random booster. And for some reason, with this random booster, there was also cardboard inside the Beyblades too. And. Oh, we got Viper Tail. <laughs> it's been a few weeks since I got the whole random booster. I think it's actually no. Yeah, I think it actually has been a few weeks since I got the random booster. So I have no idea. So I had no idea what um, what was going on because I saw the ratchet, but I didn't check the um, I didn't check the options beforehand. Okay, so here's the blade. The blade is called Viper Tail, and this Viper Tail is actually in a purple color scheme. Like a purplish pink color scheme. 
I like it. It's really unique for Beyblade, to be honest. It's kind of interesting that they choose to have kind of pink on the recolors, not a main Beyblade. I think there is a, a Beyblade that might have pink soon, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. In terms of competitive, Viper Tail isn't really the best competitively, but you can kind of get by with it a little bit for attack. I think those are the, the type of combos that people are using for it. Uh... I don't really see it being too good right now because of Wizard Rod, so you might have to try it. Like, if you really want to use Viper Tail, you probably have to put it on 360 or 960 and then low flat. And then with low flat, just tilt launch and then hope you could hopefully it do something with it. <laughs> but you kind of have to get lucky. With Viper Tail overall, it's kind of just like it's kind of aggressive, so people can use it for attack, but. If you if you're battling against Wizard Rod, then get luck. You might not get far. And here is the ratchet. The ratchet is five thirty oh seven oh seventy five seventy. Yeah, you have to actually count the lines to see the to see the height. This is five seventy. I know I kind of am going in blind, so here it is. Five seventy originally came out on Wizard Rod and. The thing about 570 is that it's in between 60 and 80. So if you're one of those, if you have one of those Beyblades that actually needs to be kind of in between heights, or you just want to have a kind of a mix of attack and stamina, well, not really attack and stamina, but you want to have a mix between being able to kind of defend from below and above, then I think 70 is probably the best height. But overall, I think, um, 570 seems good. I really like this, um, I really like the color scheme for it. It's interesting having a pink and purple color scheme for a ratchet. Here is the bit. The bit is called Dot. This is my first Dot that I'm actually going to be using. And this Dot is pink. You can tell it's really pink. I like it though. It looks nice. I've never seen a, a bit that this, that's this pink before, so, um, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so I'll actually explain the, the importance of duplicates in Beyblade X right now. So, so you know, this is the whole Beyblade put together. One thing about duplicates in Beyblade X is that they're really important. Not just because the parts can actually wear down over time to a point where, to a point where all your contact points will end up just become rounded off or your Beyblade will just perform differently or even break over time, depending on how rough you are with your Beyblades. But also because sometimes they actually have different, um, because sometimes the different parts actually are made, like even though these are all the same mold, they could still end up being a bad batch and they just end up having really weak, like a really weak latch on to the, to the blade itself between the ratchet and the blade. So instead of having it where it takes a little bit of force to turn the blade on the ratchet, well, the ratchet on the blade, then you might just have those times where it's really easy to just kind of slide on and slide off. A good example is actually, a good example for why this is important is because of, I'm not sure if you've seen like my Shark Edge battles, but for some of my Shark Edge battles they actually bursted because it hit the extreme line. And that's because the ratchet on it was actually really weak. I didn't even notice that until more recently, so. Back then, when Shark Edge burst it, it was actually kind of a, it was kind of my fault because I didn't even have another, um, didn't have another 360, so that was my only 360 at the time. But that's what I mean. It's like the, um, so that's what I mean. Basically, the extra parts are good because sometimes, sometimes you just have the bad batches, or you might end up getting unlucky, and then this might be the one thing that I really need for a tournament if you end up just getting a duplicate. It's all random, you can't really choose the ones they get from the factory and stuff like that, so just keep that in mind. There's also sometimes you might have defects by accident, so having a having a one having like a special part that actually works like it's supposed to is good, so you might need duplicates for that. Or or if you end up just liking a bit away so much that you want to spare, that's another reason to get a duplicate. So yes, duplicates are actually really important for Beyblade X. And now let's do some test battles. I actually did um I did have predetermined Beyblades right here for the test battles. That's why you kind of you might have saw them over to the side. 
But here's Shark Edge, 360 Low Flat, or Kill Shark, either one. Yeah, I actually want to use this for the test battles. And then Night Lance, purple one. Oh, purple and black, mainly black. And here is Rhino Horn. The 580, yeah, 580 Quake one. And then Night Lance is on 4, 460 gear ball okay so this is actually my very first time using dot so i'm actually going to start off by doing a test spin three two one later i've never launched dot before so this is my first dot it's really calm like i know it's supposed to be defensive but i didn't expect it to be this calm it's so steady in the center Wow. Okay, that's bad for the test spin. I really like the colors for it. It's a really neat color choice for a Beyblade. And now let's do the test battles. The first test battle will be against Rhino Horn. Three, two, one, go shoot! Whoa! Okay. Viper Tail wins that round with an extreme finish. So, the next battle will be against Knight Lance. Three, two, one, go shoot! Whoa! Okay, Viper Tail's tipping over. And Viper Tail. Viper Tail looks like it barely won with the spin finish. That was really close though. Last Beyblade Shark Edge or Kill Shark. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I I don't even know what happened, but Shark Edge won that one with the overfinish. Three, two, one, go shoot. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, Shark Edge was just too strong, it just knocked it out. Yeah, um, Shark Edge is a great investment. Um, all toys, they actually do have, um, I'm all toys, they actually sell some of these Beyblades directly. So, if you just wanted to get the prize Shark Edge or even the Hasbro one, you could get that. If you wanted to get the Rhino Horn or, or the Night Lance, then you can actually get those directly. You can also get the brand new Beyblades, so... If you want those, then you could get those from Mall Toys. But Shark Edge was actually the victor here, <laughs> with it being so strong and just being great upper attacks. Now, what do I think of Viper Tail? Well, Viper Tail 570 Dot. Viper Tail 570 Dot is one of those Beyblades where if you get it from the random booster, I feel like you would probably mainly get it for Dot. I don't really see why you would get it for Viper Tail because Viper Tail is outclassed technically. And then 570, 570 is good, but I don't really think it's um I don't really think you should go out of your way to get 570 unless you really want this color. And then for Dot, I think Dot has potential, but I don't know what what blade it would be best on as of right now. Maybe Leon Crest. Maybe Leon Crest. And that's basically my my review for for Viper for Viper Tail. I know this is just one random like one random box I have a whole set, so um if you're looking forward to seeing my full set unboxing slash review, then um let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to actually doing that full unboxing whenever I can. So, like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time, bye, and we are proven to be legendary. Stay legendary. Thank you again to Mall Toys for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate it. I actually do have, um, actually do want to say one more time that you can use my code, which is the legendary R for 5% off. The link, is in, the link is in the description, and you can also get brand new Beyblades from Mall Toys if you wanted to. There's there's a brand new Beyblade like Sphinx Cow. There's brand new Beyblades like Phoenix Rudder and Leon Crest. So 
feel free to go there for those beta plates if you really wanted them. I just wanted to let you know that that was an option.